This is experiment one, basic techniques, condition the pipette. I've got my pipette right here. I've got my equilibrated water and I've got my waste beaker properly labeled right here. Now the conditioning process is a general process that says if I have a pipette and let's say it's been used before but you're not sure for what or a beaker has been used before or an Erlenmeyer flask, graduate cylinder, what have you. We don't know what was in here before. We want to make sure that when we put our solution, or in this case, our water inside of it, that there's nothing else inside here except water. So say we had a salt solution in here. There could be some salt left. We want to make sure that that is not the case. Conditioning always takes a small amount of solution or water, whatever it is, um, in this case, water, and uh, puts it into the pipette. And then, uh, I don't know if you can see, I've got water right there. And then you can tilt the pipette to allow the water to run around and coat the entire inside of the surface. Now my water is down there. And then there. And the reason we use just a small amount of solution is so that we minimize the waste of our solution or our water in this case. It is true, we have plenty of water. Uh, for the entire semester, so less of a concern. But this is a general process, and we want to make sure you get the process correct. I've done it once, three times. Conditioning is always the case for what you want to do. So, a little bit of solution. Coat the entire interior. If there was any salt in here from the solutions that we've used, or whatever we've used, sugar, who knows. Uh, we've now entirely... Uh, helped to get rid of it twice. You'll notice that I am squeezing it over here so that any leftover solution that comes out comes into my waste and does not go back into my distilled water. Third time, a little bit of solution, coat the entire interior. And now you can be relatively certain that any bit of solution that's in here is water and not anything else.